Hi, it's me, Madeline. And in this week's episode of Smart Choices with Madeline, you're going to see me make five different recipes with chicken and ground turkey and fruits and vegetables. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Madeline, and this week on Smart Choices with Madeline, I am showing you five different recipes with fruits and vegetables and lean meat, the way I eat, the way I ate to lose weight and keep it off forever, and I'm showing you here. We have chicken on the George Foreman grill with potatoes and onions and zucchini and summer squash. I have a wonderful salad here with mixed mescaline greens, purple onions, mushrooms, and tomatoes with a wonderful balsamic, white balsamic vinegar dressing with honey mustard. I have here a ground turkey meatloaf muffin with, which has potatoes and onions. And then we have, of course, brown rice, which is always on my stove. And this is my most famous dish. I make it all the time. French Old Lady Soup. It has a base of tomatoes and chicken broth and zucchini, summer squash, carrots, all the things you see in the front here, and chicken and brown rice. The reason for my show today is to show you out there that, uh, let me go back a little bit. I used to weigh 190 pounds about seven years ago. That used to be me. It's not the best picture in the world, but it's going to be famous someday because that used to be me. And I weighed 190 pounds seven years ago, and I lost 65 pounds. And I know the secret to losing weight and keeping it off forever. And all of this today that I'm going to show you and cook for you in the next hour, this is the way to lose weight and keep it off forever. Now, the food that I'm going to cook for you today is food that I eat all the time. This is not something that I'm doing just for you to lose weight and keep it off forever. This is for me to eat and show you that this is the way you eat after you lose weight. This is how you keep it off forever. So let me get started here. I'm going to start with my electric frying pan right here in the front of me. And I don't use oil because um, oil puts fat on your body. <clears throat> I really am sorry to tell you that, but it's true. And the only way for you to lose weight and keep it off forever and stay slim and trim is not to use oil. Or if you do use oil, don't use it like you see the people on TV, on the Food Channel, doing it. No, I'm sorry, you can't use oil like water. Because if you do, that's why you end up getting fat. So I use low sodium chicken broth, which I have to say thank you to Dunn's Corner Market for supplying me all this lovely food for our shoot tonight. And um, I'm going to start right here, right in front of you. This is so exciting. Oil does this, but you don't need to have any oil. Okay. The brown rice is cooking, and this pan over here is for French old lady soup. How many old ladies does it take to make French old lady soup? <laughs> so I'm cutting a purple onion, and I'm working with chicken and ground turkey today. On my next cooking show, I'd like to have some fish and maybe some shrimp. Now be a cleanup cook, you know, you have to be a cleanup cook. Let me get this started. Oh, see my 
frying pan is uh, getting a little bit low there. Cutting up this nice onion, purple onions. I love purple onions. And, I, and the way I cook, you're going to see how I cook tonight. <clears throat> you know that I am not um, real particular about the way I cut my vegetables because I think that it's really much more fun to just cut them and throw them in the frying pan. You don't have to have everything ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Pshhh. I used to have this friend named Stella and she spent all day Sunday cooking and I used to think at the time what a crazy girl she is. Why is she cooking all day Sunday? But you know what? She was the smartest person that I know because now I do it that way and when I get home and I have food ready, I am happier than a clam. I don't like to be going home and there's no French old lady soup. And French old lady soup is the thing that I make every single week from all the leftovers in the refrigerator. So now I got onions going. Let's try some garlic. And be a cleanup cook. Where's my assistant? Where? What? Oh, here I am. <laughs> I'm going to put two different kinds. Let me put another onion in there. This is going to be um, the basis for my French old lady soup. I'm starting that because that's going to take a little while. People talk about, oh my God, it takes 45 minutes to make rice, brown rice. Uh, well, you know, you're standing here for 45 minutes anyway, so you might as well make the best. And this is the rice that I used today. Let me show you the rice that I used today. This is uh, Texmati brown rice, and get real rice. You don't want the rice that's minute rice because they take the nutrients out of it. That's the reason why I have this rice. And they make so many different kinds. Oh, I buy them everywhere and I find really nice brown rice. Some of them have wheat berries in them. So I'm getting this onion going. Let me get, um, I'm going over here and I'm gonna turn on my pan for the French old lady soup and I'm going to put some chicken broth in the bottom of that so it gets going. <coughs> You're going to be amazed by how I do this. I, I just, I love to cook like this. If I don't cook and take care of myself, and you know if you watch me at all, Madeline Chase right here cooking for you, that my message to you out there is that you are the most important person and if you don't take care of yourself, Nobody else will. I know that for a fact because I live alone and if I didn't take care of myself, forget about it. Okay, here's my trick. I love doing this. There you go. A little bit of garlic. My daughter told me last year, she says, Mom, why didn't you teach me how to do garlic like that when I was a kid? And I said, you didn't want to stand around and watch me cook when you were a kid? She says, oh, thanks a lot, Ma. Oh, I got to open another can. Now they do make these in um, a bigger size, but this is collagen light and um, it's half, half of the sodium. So you want to get the low sodium chicken broth when you buy it or make your own. Absolutely. If you're doing a chicken, make your own. Now another thing if you've watched my show, you know I don't use oil and I don't use salt. I don't put salt in anything because these items have plenty of salt in them already. There's already, let me see how many milligrams are in this, 450 milligrams of sodium in this, which is a lot, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to use even less than that, but it gives it a little bit of the sodium flavor. Now you don't need, you don't need a lot of fancy stuff to make food. You don't need fancy stuff to make food. You see here I have my electric frying pan. Um, this is good. Oh, see that brown rice is almost done. <laughs> it's amazing that it goes a lot faster than you think or else I've been standing here for 45 minutes. Hey, is my time up? <laughs> I'm putting some garlic in. I don't want to put too much garlic. I know Joanne Johnson who's helping me tonight. She says she puts garlic in everything. The garlic's awesome, but um, I think I'll just put a little bit in there. Oh, look. You see how I don't make a big deal out of how... Ma Martha Stewart makes everything a little bit, like, uh, diametrical. Everything has to match. My food doesn't match at all. Okay. Oh, I got a red pepper here. Let's put that into the soup. 
Red peppers are on sale a lot, so when they're on sale, buy them and freeze them. That's a really good thing. I used to live on a dairy farm. I lived on a dairy farm, and people say to me all the time, boy, you're a busy girl, and you've got a lot of things going on, and I say, ha, ha, you have no idea what I used to do. I used to milk cows and pick up eggs and clean the chicken coop and... Now I'm standing here on TV and it's, this is a lot easier. A little bit of red pepper in there. How's that? Now I don't eat dessert anymore. So that's why I have that beautiful, beautiful bowl of fruit. And if you have a compost pile, which is something that I try to do, Make sure that you put all of your residue, the leftovers from, the, uh, from your fruits and your vegetables. Don't put anything in there like meat because you'll have animals. So you can put eggshells and coffee grinds and stuff like that. How's that looking? Oh, I got to start putting some spices. Okay. Now, you know I don't use salt, so I use tons of spices. And I never know what spices I'm going to use. I just decide. They're sitting on the table. This is how I cook. It's a marvelous way to cook, and I love it. Oh, this is something right here. I'm going to put some of this in. This is Louisiana Perfect Chipotle Hot Sauce. Hot sauce. I love it. Put a little bit in there. Woo! I'm going to be crying. Hey, the onions aren't that strong because I'm not crying. Black pepper. Okay. So all these little pieces, all these little tools are going to give me enough food to eat for oh, quite a while. And I don't put oil on my salad either. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this. Um, this is white balsamic vinegar. And I also have some honey mustard right here. And that's what I use for my salad dressing. I, I really, really don't use oil anymore. You know, people say, you need a little bit of oil. And I say, no, no, I don't. No, I don't need oil. Oil puts fat on your body. I know that, uh, you know, olive oil is supposed to be good for your cholesterol and stuff. But people, are they, they overdo it. They overdo it. So it's really, really not good for you if you're trying to lose weight and stay healthy. I know, I'll have people call me up, yes, olive oil is good for you. Not in the amount that people are using now, it's not good for you. So I got onions and garlic and red peppers in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of zucchini. Now this is the base for my soup. And I always make um, soup with tomatoes. I love tomatoes in my soup. It's a good thing. And I'm going to have a big garden. Wait till you see my next television show. I'm going to have a garden. Uh, people talk to me about this all the time. And I tell, they say, oh, it's too expensive to eat healthy. And I say, no, it's not. You can't buy the junk food. That's where it's too expensive to eat healthy. If you buy the healthy food, you can't buy the junk food too. So um, I was in a bicycle shop this morning, and I was talking to someone, and they said to me, oh, to lose weight, it has to be a lifestyle change. And I said, yes, exactly. It has to be a lifestyle change. It can't be, oh, I'm going to do it this week, and oh, it's my mother's birthday, and I'll start next week. And um, No, you can't do that. It has to be a lifestyle change. It must be your priority to, to feed yourself healthy food. And it has nothing to do with the size that you wear. Come on. Who cares what size you wear? It's the food that you put into your body that you, because you're a beautiful creature of God, that you've heard me say this before. Oh, red crushed pepper. I love red crushed pepper. I love it. I think um, it's probably, if I don't have sodium, all the peppers that I use are so cool. How does this look? Woo-wee! Here you go. So this is going to go into my French old lady soup. Are you amazed by how this food is looking? And I crave food like this now. When I was, I shouldn't say the word fat, but I do because it is fat. And I was a fat woman, and I hated it. 
and I didn't know the answer. And I wish somebody like me had come along to tell me the truth. But I'm here to tell you the truth that, no, you, I'm sorry, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And when Oprah gets in touch with me, I'll be at her house cooking for her for quite a while to get her in good shape. So uh, let me see. I'm going to take this and put it into my French old lady soup. So what I'm going to do is bring my, my pan over here. I think that would be the easiest way for me to start scooping this in. Now are you getting my, my drift of how I'm cooking here? I have all the vegetables that I'm going to use. I have all the frying pans that I'm going to use and mostly I use onions and garlic and peppers and zucchini and summer squash. I have broccoli and asparagus here. I've got carrots and celery which is part of the trinity. You know how um, Emerald says the trinity is peppers, onions, and celery. So I use them all the time. Peppers, onions, celery. Here's part of my, the beginning of my French old lady soup. Ooh, wee, that makes me happy. Now, I have a little tip that I use to cut chicken up. I put it in the freezer for a few minutes so that it's hard and it's a lot easier to slice that way. So I'm going to put a little bit more chicken broth. See, here you go. Chicken broth. It looks beautiful. Now, come on. That is gorgeous. Now, I like to cut my chicken on an angle. Don't get crazy with it. Make it small slices like this. And you can cook it fast. And this is going to be part of my French old lady soup. I'm going to cook. Oh boy, here we go. I'm going to put my chicken in here and I'm going to put carrots in this too and I'm going to put celery in this. I might even put some broccoli in French old lady soup. I call it French old lady soup because I'm a French old lady. I'm looking at my other spices here and I'm thinking I'll put some allspice, some um, all-purpose seasoning. When I'm using chicken I like to use like the Thanksgiving seasonings. Make sure you have a good sharp knife. And wash your hands and don't use the same board that you use. Joanne just said that to me. Don't use that board again. I said you bet I won't. Now see how I'm just cutting this up as quickly as I can. Throwing it in there. It's doing its thing. And guess what? The brown rice is done. I haven't been working for 45 minutes. If I have, my show's almost done. So I'll have to leave. <laughs> but I know that it's worth the wait to do the brown rice like that. Now let me go check over here. I want to make sure my French old lady soup is not... Oh, it's cooking nice. Can you see it? Let me give this a stir. Be always careful to wash your hands. Woo! Does that look good? Joanne, you're one of the lucky ones. You can smell it in here. Let me put a little bit of... Um, let me put a little bit. Here's some rosemary. Woo! I love a little bit of rosemary. How's that? A little bit of rosemary, a little bit of tarragon. I don't even, I don't even really look at what I'm throwing into my stuff. I just throw a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, cumin. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me keep cutting this up so I get the whole three pieces in. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to keep the last piece. Then I'm going to put on the George Foreman grill for you to see how to do that too. So I have here the chicken that I'm cooking for my French old lady soup. And I got the chicken there that I'm going to put on to the grill. Starting to really smell good. So if you're out there today and you've been having trouble with losing weight because you're confused about food, you're watching me today, Madeline Chase, and I'm the woman that lost 65 pounds, oh, in 2001. There you go. Hey, it's a double picture. Could show the front and the back of me. I look the same, fat. Look at this chicken. Doesn't that smell good? Woo-wee. My daughter sent me a picture, and I weighed 190 pounds, and I said, that's not me. That's my grandmother. And when I started to really get serious and understand the truth 
about what food is and what I was doing. And it's not, I'm going to say this again, it doesn't matter what size you wear. It doesn't matter what your neighbors are doing. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. The reason why you're eating food like this and real food, fruits and vegetables and lean meat and water and nice coffee and tea is because you are the most important person and food is fuel. Food is fuel, it's not your entertainment. And we in this country and in the whole world have made food our entertainment. Food is our entertainment and we have gotten totally, totally, totally obese because of food being our entertainment. How's that looking? Woo! I'm gonna take this ground turkey and I am going to make kind of like a ground turkey meatloaf, I guess. It's just ground turkey that I got from Dunn's Corner Market, and it's, it's cheaper. Ground turkey is cheaper by at least a dollar, and much lower in fat than any um, beef that you buy. And I like to have beef once in a while, but not that often, not that often. Oh, let me put some more spices into this. I haven't even started with the spices yet. I'm excited about this. Here's my Provence ones. Woo hoo hoo hoo, this smells so good. Joanne, does it smell good or what? Ooh wee. Now, did I put any chipotle pepper? I don't think so, I don't remember. I love chipotle pepper. I found chipotle pepper quite a few years ago, and I really love it. <laughs> bam, bam. There you go. My food is not bland, I'll tell you. People come over to eat at my house, and they're like, you got anything to eat? Yeah, I always have stuff to eat, and it's stuff like this. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong with this? Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I got some leftover peppers in there, but who cares? It's gonna all go into the French old lady soup anyway. So in the French old lady soup, I have, what did I cook before? I have peppers and some onions and some garlic. And I'm gonna put the chicken right in there like that after it's cooked a little bit more, but you don't really have to cook it much because it's gonna cook in the soup anyway. And I'm gonna to have to open up another can, but let me get this going here. I'm doing four or five meals at a time, so it's a little confusing, but I'm doing good. So this is the ground turkey. Now, let me put some seasoning into this. I got all-purpose seasoning, which is, this is um, black pepper, garlic, parsley, celery, tomato, basil, thyme, um, or oregano, sage, coriander. I mean, how can you go wrong? And there's no, did you notice there's no uh, teaspoons or tablespoons or anything here? Because <laughs> I don't use them. I don't use measuring spoons. I'll put a little of the Provence stuff into that. Woo wee! You don't have to say, oh, it took Madeline an hour to cook this, but you know, make the kitchen up. Talk about making your environment where you are doing your cooking um, a pleasant place to be. I have my cup of coffee here. I have water. And uh, if there was a kid here, I'd have him on a stool and I'd have him doing age-appropriate meals. You know, kids know how to cook. I was telling Joanne before, my daughter was 12 years old and she could have run a household. And it's not selfish to teach your children to do things. It's called self-preservation, so when they grow up, they can leave <laughs> and take care of themselves. How's this? Woo-wee! It's pretty spicy. Here's some black pepper. I'm going to put this into the ground turkey there. Now, if you haven't tried ground turkey out there, please try it. Go to Dunn's Corner Market. Oh, here's the poultry seasoning. I'm going to put some poultry seasoning into this, and I'll throw some in there. It's going to smell like Thanksgiving in here pretty soon. Also, I have uh, cilantro. Oh, I might as well throw some of that. What a crazy cook. Oh, I'm a crazy cook. I love to cook with all kinds of different things. It just tastes good. Now, I could get fancy and throw some extra stuff into this ground turkey 
that I call ground turkey meatloaf. But because I'm going to have so many other uh, vegetables in the actual casserole with it, I'm going to leave it plain like that. And um, the casserole will have the onions and the other things in it that will make it a complete meal. Oh, I have potatoes here too. And a salad. And I'm going to, I promise, I will show you how I put a salad together. Now, this is pretty much done. This chicken right here, you could eat this right now if you wanted to. Because of the way I sliced it and made it small like that. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And bring my old lady soup pot back over here. Be very careful. I wouldn't do this in the kitchen. You know, this is just because I'm at the television studio that I'm doing this. I'm going to throw in my chicken in this French old lady soup. How does this look so far? Awesome. Awesome. Now, one, I'm, st I'm making everything in like one pot like this. French old lady soup. Now, once I get this soup down to about half of a pot, I'll look in my refrigerator and say, what do I have in here that I want to get rid of because it's time for me to go to the store again because I shop all the time. And I throw in, let me turn this down a little bit. Let's get a look of this, at this French old lady soup so far. Can we get a look at this from above? How does this look so far? Now that's only a half of a pot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back over there and um, this is where the brown rice comes in but I'm not going to put it in yet. Okay, this is going. This is nice. So I get this ready for my uh, ground turkey. I'm going to put it down but first I want to put a layer of onions here first. Okay, let me take the big yellow one. Where is it? Here it is. Here's my big yellow onion. But I gotta take a break first because I gotta wash my um, my knife, and I will be back in a few minutes. This is Smart Choices with Madeline. I'm Madeline Chase, showing you a lot of different meals with fruits and vegetables and lean meat, and um, I'm teaching you how to be happy and healthy in a fun way. I'll be back. Whew, we're back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this George Foreman grill. Yeah, baby. This is a George Foreman grill. And I'm going to put the two pieces of chicken down there and show you how this does its magic. There's no grease or anything. And this little thing, if there was grease, it would be going right down there like that. So I'm going to close this up. And when it starts to smell, we're going to say, woohoo, it's ready. So I got cooking, it's Madeline, Smart Choices with Madeline, and I'm back. We took a break so I could wash the knife, and I have French Old Lady soup going, I have brown rice, I have the George Foreman grill, and this is ready for me to put in. Let me finish cutting up. Let me go wash my hands again. Oh, I know what I can do. Through the magic of television, I can put my pot back on here. Okay, I'm going to cut up the onion. And what should I do? I'm going to cut this onion up, and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the other electric frying pan. Actually, I think I'm going to use this one because I'm not going to be cooking this anymore, so I might as well not dirty two frying pans, right? So I'm going to put it in there. In this one, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. Put a little bit of, now this is not EVOO, this is just chicken broth, so you can put quite a bit of it. And I put it down at the bottom. I'm going to put my onions. I'm going to put the onion, oh it smells so good. I'm going to put all the onions, I'm going to cut up the purple, no, I'm not going to cut the purple one up. I'll cut this one up, and I'm going to put this down 
at the bottom of the electric frying pan. So it makes a base, and I really love onions. I put onions in everything. Onions, onions. I, it looks like I'm chopping onions all the time. Well, I am. Okay, so how are we doing over here? Whoa, this is like an orchestra. I have to keep looking at everything. Let's check out the George Foreman grill, see what's going on. I'll shut this off. Whoa, how is that looking? That is looking good. I'm going to leave it on a little bit more. Okay, we're going to need plates pretty soon. We're going to need plates. This is like a three-ring circus. I'm cooking all these things. If I was at home, I'd take a little bit more time, but because I'm standing here in front of you making this at the studio here in Westerly, I'm going to just put the onions down, then I'm going to put the ground turkey over it. This is going to be kind of like a casserole, and um, I'll keep the layer of the ground turkey kind of thin, and I didn't put um, anything much into it except the ground turkey and a little bit of seasoning because there's going to be so much of other stuff in there. Let me just use my fingers and spread this out. You don't have to have it go all over. Just make it nice and thin. This is like kind of like making a meatball, but it's a meatloaf, kind of. Yeah, it's kind of a meatloaf, you know. Food is food, and this is fun. So you want kind of a thin layer because you want it to cook up um, evenly. And if, you, and if you have it too thick, it's not going to be good. So put it down kind of flat like that, okay. And put it up. Oh, my hands, i got to wipe my hands again. That's the problem when you're cooking with meat. You have to make sure everything's clean all the time. Right, I'm going to turn that up, and I'll look at my other, my other, um, there we go. How smart was that? <laughs> so I put the cover on that. Now I'm going to check out how my George Foreman grill's going. Oh, boy, look at that. Look at that. That looks really, really good. Really good. Let me turn this over. Now, if you had a little kid, maybe 10 or something, he could be standing here near the George Foreman grill. You got the onions cooking. I could put mushrooms on here and peppers. Oh, let me put the potatoes on here. I want to show you how I cook potatoes. Now, I pre cook them in the microwave and um, I'm going to cut some of them up so they're pre-cooked because they would not cook really fast if you did it, um, if they were raw on the George Foreman grill. So you don't want to be putting a raw potato on here because it would never cook right. So this is what I do. Watch this. Isn't this the coolest thing? Potatoes on the grill, just like this. Potatoes don't have to be boring. Potatoes are gold, and people ask me this all the time. What do you mean you ate potatoes when you were losing weight and you eat potatoes now? Potatoes are gold. Potatoes are gold. God made potatoes, and when uh, Dr. Atkins and all those other people who are, uh, didn't really know the truth talk about potatoes as being bad, well, they're not bad. They're good for you. And they made me lose weight. They, they're my carbs a lot of the time. And brown rice are my carbs. Butternut squash. Ooh, I love the sound of that. That is very cool. I'm going to put, um, now this is going. This is going. When you put the cover on, it's going to cook just like an oven. Let me cut some of the zucchini up here. I'm going to cut the zucchini. And put a little bit on the George Foreman grill. How's that? And some of it into my um, French Old Lady soup, too. So you, we want to cut it in uh, maybe a little slice like that. A little slice like that. It's fun to cook. Make it fun. You know, it, it doesn't have to be a chore. And if you do it a lot of cooking at one time like this, it ends up not being such a big chore. How does that look? Look at this. Look at this. 
I love it. Let me put some seasoning on that. Some pepper. I like to have a pepper mill, but I don't have one with me today. I'm not, and I'm not going to cook all the things that I would do because it would take more time. But you can see here, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, it, it, it needs to be something that you make a priority, that you shop all the time, and you cook for yourself. And then you will lose weight and keep it off forever. That's the only way that you can do it. Okay, I'm going to slice some of this zucchini on the top of this. Slice them like a crazy woman. And then I'll get my carrots and celery to throw into the French old lady soup. That's looking good. That's looking good. I like to put apples in my meatloaf too. And if you're not trying to lose weight, and you can eat nuts, which are full of fat. Um, you can put walnuts in it, too. I really like walnuts in it. How does that look? Doesn't that look cool? I like that. Food is food, man. Food is food. Got to just play with it and put it in different things. Here's some uh, summer squash. In the, in the summer when I have a garden, the summer squash comes so fast and the zucchini comes so fast, they end up like big uh, baseball bats. So you've got to pick them when they're little and make salads with them and use them like this. This is really good. Now I better check out my few things here that I'm cooking. Okay. The soup's looking good. The brown rice is done. And I think that we have quite a meal over here. Now this is a meal by itself. Look at this! Look at this! This is a meal. You got your potatoes, you got a little bit of the vegetable, you'll have a huge salad with that, and here's the chicken. I'm going to shut this off and just let it sit there. That's a beautiful thing. I'm going to shut that off. Let's see, which one is that? Okay. I'm going to put the zucchini on top of this. Oh, just play with it. This is fun. Just play with it. How's that? Now I'm going to cut, I'm going to put the cover back on that. How cool is that? All right. I'm going to cut up the rest of this summer squash. I'm going to throw it in the French old lady soup. Huh? Okay. I'm going to throw these little rest of my zucchini or my summer squash into the French old lady soup. Now, if you're Portuguese or Polish, you can call it Portuguese or Polish old lady soup. But I'm French, so I call it French old lady soup. I am excited. I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well. Oh, no, no, I still have to put in the carrots. Oh, all right. Oh, no, first let me open this. I'm going to open a can of um, tomatoes for this. No, if I can't get... Oh, I got it on the first try. Cool. You should try and get one of these. This is a really nice can opener. It's, I like it a lot. So how are we doing out there? Are we understanding the truth about food and how easy it is? I can hear this cooking. There we go. Open it. Oh, I'm bleeding. No, I'm all kidding. <laughs> oh, it's the tomato. Oh, this is this is crushed tomatoes with basil. And make sure that you check the sodium content of everything that you buy. Okay, I'm throwing this in the French old lady soup. Oh my God, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Here we go. I'm gonna be. This chicken in here, zucchini, summer squash, onions, garlic. How can you go wrong with that? I'm going to throw another can of um, chicken broth into it. And it gets thicker and thicker by the day. And, oh, I love when I come home and I have a, a, if there's a pot of French old lady soup 
in my refrigerator. I'm thrilled when I get home. Okay, where's my can opener? Oh, here it is, okay. How are we doing? I still have to cut up some celery and carrots uh, for, my, for my soup, which is a, a must. I could th throw some mushrooms in there. I got broccoli. I love kale. I use kale and collards. All the greens out there make spinach. If I have spinach, I throw spinach in my soup. People ask me, what's your recipe? I don't have a recipe. Oh, I opened another can of tomatoes. Oh, well, I guess I'm supposed to have two cans of tomatoes in the soup. Because that was just, to, it seemed to be just tomato sauce, but this is, ah, these are real, real tomatoes. Real tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to throw these in. This is going to be tomato soup. Maybe I won't need another can of um, chicken broth. I'm going to hold off on that for a minute. Oh, we've got tomato, tomatoes all over the floor. Where's the cleanup crew? <laughs> if you know me, I'm Madeline. I'm the cleanup crew. Yep, I'm the cleanup crew. Now, how are we doing here? Now, this is shut off, so this is all set. You don't have to touch that. Oh, boy, that, that's meatloaf. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? Oh, it's cooking. It's not going to take that long because I made it thin. I didn't make it thick. Okay. Now, here we are. Let me put some more. Let me, let me put some of the celery and some of the carrots into the French old lady soup. Now, Joanne had a good idea that I should do all this prep work before. Ha ha, maybe I will next time. <laughs> that would be easy, but then what would my show be if I wasn't standing here chopping and cooking, right, Joanne? What would my show be? That's right. Oh, that's right. So, I'll, I love doing carrots. Did you ever use one of those mandolins? I really, really love a mandolin. It's not an instrument. I know musicians out there are saying, what is she talking about a mandolin to cook with? You know, a mandolin is one of those, um, uh, it's a slicer, and it's, it's, a, it's a fun thing. Maybe next time I have a show, I'll have a mandolin because I really enjoy using those. But in the meantime, I'm using my trusty knife, my Rachel Ray trusty, trusty knife. It does good work. All right, open up the cover. I'll put in French old lady soup. Oh, I'm so excited. Carrots in my French old lady soup. Okay, I'll put some celery in there now. I really enjoy cooking. I really, really enjoy this because I am the most important person in my life. And it's not a selfish thing for you to say that for me to say that because I realize at my age, 58, I'm 58 years old and I'm single and I take care of myself and I've said this before to you out there that you are the most important person and if you don't take care of yourself, no one else will. No one else will. I've learned that, that people die, people leave you, uh, people come and go in your life but you are always there. Right, Joanne? That's right. It's always you, and it turns out to be you till the day you die. So unless you take care of yourself, or you're really lucky to have somebody helping you out, and you take care of each other, you've got to make this a priority to cook for yourself. And fruits and vegetables and lean meat and real food all day long, as you will see, is the way to a healthy life, and healthy and happy is the only thing that I want to be for the rest of my life. I'm making a mess, but that's okay. The cleanup cook will come and clean it up. <laughs> I'm having fun here. I'm really enjoying cooking for you tonight. And I want you to give me a call. Look at that. Look at that French old lady soup. I'm Joanne, look at this. Look at, delicious. Look at this. It's this is so nice. It's got the, the whole tomatoes and celery and carrots and, oh, my God. 
There's no recipe for this. I just kept looking around and I put, oh, you know what? I forgot something that you're going to really love. Oh my God, I forgot this. This is Paul Newman's own salsa. And this is part of the, um, what I love on my meatloaf. So I'm going to open this up. Ooh, you're going to love this. You ready? I'm going to put Paul Newman's own. Woo, 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 woo. How's that? How does that look? Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to throw the whole thing in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Save the jar. Don't forget, recycle, recycle. And if I have one hint for you, I have one hint for people. Boy, does that look good? Does that look good or what? That's kind of like a layered kind of thing. And there's no recipe for that either. Let me see, what can I put in there? I'll put a little bit more. Ooh, crushed red pepper. I don't think I'll put any of that in there. This is a Portuguese spice. I lived in New Bedford when I was a kid and we grew up with the Portuguese and they use crushed red pepper on everything. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do on this and you're going to say, oh, is that going to cook in time? I'm going to take a raw potato and I'm going to slice it as thin as I can and I'm making these one pot meals for you, okay? You're watching me slice this as thin as I can. And I'm going to put this on top of that. My glass is getting steamed up or what? This is so good. This is so good. Hi, I'm Madeline Chase and I'm here and I'm making all these meals for you. We're going to eat good tonight. How's that? Yum. Am I making this food look tantalizing? That's the word I want you to have in your mind. This is tantalizing. You don't have to eat food that is full of fat and grease and oil and butter and whatever else is on there. If you eat that, then the back of your arms are going jiggle jiggle and your little bum is going boom boom. And you're it, on all that fat and the sugar that you're putting into your body is not making your precious, precious body beautiful. This is the food that makes your precious body beautiful. Am I getting my point across to you? Tantalizing, simple food. The key to a simple life is to eat simple food, keep it around. I shop every day, every other day. If I don't have uh, fruit in the house, I'm out of the house in no time. How does this look? It doesn't look perfect, but shh, I don't have anybody coming to my door and saying, hey, how does your meatloaf look? <laughs> I think I'm going to put some um, all-purpose all -purpose seasoning on that. And I'm going to put another onion another onion right along the top of it. I love onions. I love, love, love. And when I was a kid, I did not like onions at all. I wouldn't eat an onion if you paid me. So you can tr be rest assured that your food tastes do change. They do change. I didn't used to like lobster either. <laughs> I remember when we were a kid, when I was a kid, my father, um, we went to Canada. And my father grew up in Canada, and he loves lobster. And we went to this, and, and I'm sure a lot of people out there love lobster. And we went to this little um, a port where they were bringing lobsters in, and my father bought these jars of lobster meat, real lobster meat in there that they made for him. And he was so happy because none of us liked it, and he was able to eat it all by himself. <laughs> hey, my Dad, how you doing out there? My show's on in New Bedford, too, so if you remember me when I was a kid, I used to be that skinny kid, remember? 
and but I got fat so I'm here Madeline and I'm telling you the secret to losing weight and eating healthy and keeping it off forever how does that look oh yeah onions that's practically done already that's practically done I'm gonna put the cover back on that I'm gonna let it simmer for a while and I'm gonna make a little bit of my salad here I think that I gotta round this up so that I can show you okay let's see oh I forgot one thing and I'm gonna have to open another can of this chicken broth let me put that finish up that one and I'm gonna open up another one for you I want to thank Tony at Dunn's Corner Market again for all this wonderful food that he made possible for me um, I still have plenty here that I didn't cook, but I will be cooking it up and keeping myself healthy for the next week or so and sharing it with all my friends here at the studio. It goes another can of chicken broth that goes in there. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And now here's where the brown rice comes in. My infamous brown rice that took 45 minutes is out of this world delicious. And people say, oh, brown rice is awful. But you're not making it to just kind of eat it like this, you know. You're putting it in the soup. Look at this. You can have this for supper tonight. Oh, my goodness. Is this beautiful? This is, this is like... This makes me so happy. This is, makes me as happy as what a hot fudge sundae used to do for me. I'm telling you, and if you're losing weight and you don't want to put all the rice in there, keep the rice on the side and only use a little bit of the rice. And you can have all the soup you want because a little bit of the chicken and all the vegetables, everything. You know, if you were ever on Weight Watchers, you understand the um, meaning of free food, the free food that they talk about. Well, let me give you an example of what free food is. In, a, in the Weight Watchers diet, and in every diet in the world, the food that has the least amount of calories, and calories is what it is. Calories is the bottom line to everything. Calories is what you put in, and calories come up that you expend, Fruits and vegetables have the least amount of calories in them in all the food in the world. All the food that is like this, fruits and vegetables, have least amount of calories. That's why you can eat more of it. If you eat sugar, you can only eat a little bit. If you eat food like this, you can have three bowls of this. And that's where the fun comes in. Because people say, oh, I'm starving when I'm on a diet. I don't want you starving when you're on a diet. I don't want you being on a diet. I want you to eat healthy, and this is the way to do it. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to put, put one more in there. There we go. Now, you could eat this in about a half an hour because um, if I had put the carrots and celery in a little bit earlier, it would be done. But in about a half an hour, this will be done. I'm going to put the cover back on the brown rice, and this will be leftovers. Brown rice is, I always have a pot of brown rice in the refrigerator. I make a pot of brown rice every other day or so, and I add it to more French old lady soup, and, uh, and I, I do all kinds of things with it. Okay, now let's, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Oh, oh, oh! So night, so night. So right, so right. <laughs> so um, I'm going to finish up the salad now. Okay, let me make the salad for you. Now, a salad is something that you should have around all the time. I mean, it's a staple. It's a staple. Salad's a staple. Right here, I have a wonderful um, greens. These are greens that I got at Dunn's Corner Market. I think they're called mesclun greens. And you can use spinach, you can use romaine, you can use... I would stay away from iceberg lettuce because iceberg lettuce has absolutely no nutritional value. I don't know if you know that or not, but 
the darker the greens are, the more nutrition are in it. So I'm telling you to stay away from iceberg lettuce and use the nice dark greens. So I think I'm going to round up, finish up what I'm doing. We're going to clean up a little bit here. And I'm going to put out my food to show you what I've made in the last hour. I'm very thrilled to have my French old lady soup and my meatloaf and my salad and my grilled chicken and all my vegetables that I have left. And you know, I don't eat dessert. If I do go out, I get dessert once in a while, but we get one dessert and share it with the table. But if you're trying to lose weight and be healthy, fruit right here, you see this fruit? I have grapes and apples and oranges and there's a pear in there and bananas. There's your dessert. What a beautiful thing. How, how can this be bad? How can that be bad? And people ask me all the time, isn't there sugar in fruit? Yes, dear, there's sugar in fruit, but the good kind of sugar. God made these. How can they be bad for you? God made these, too. And I'm going to plant these in my yard. And thank you to the Broadhurst Nursery for um, being kind to for my set tonight. And I want to thank Dunn's Corner Market and thank you out there for showing up and watching me here in your living room. And Mr. Rogers says this all the time. There's a sacred space between you and me. And I want to thank you, Madeline, here, for letting me come into your sacred space. I love you. You are the most important person. I am here tonight, and I'll be here a lot. More and more, I'm going to try and do this week after week, or maybe every couple of weeks, and show you new meals, how I keep going, and how I stay slim and trim. And next time, I will bring my yoga ball to show you. Actually, I have one here, um, which is my exercise. So there's another show for you to watch. I want to thank you again. This is Madeline, Smart Choices with Madeline. And happy spring and happy summer. This is a way for you to get your life in control and eat healthy for the rest of your life. Bye.